Okay, here we are. I don't know if I'm, uh, I'm supposed to go on. If I'm supposed to go on, um, where is it? Turn on the light. I'll be right back. I'm supposed to go on that big presentation and I'll find out it's hard to get on this so, one. So uh, I started writing a children's book and it was kind of like uh, the, the the continuing adventures of Nicholas McNabb, the cab driving crab, only it was much more, um, I think, like, like ch children would like it, I think. But it's the same um, category of comedy. And uh, I went to that app, but I couldn't use it because you have to be a, chi a child or a parent to put something on. So this is um, about three pages long. And then I'll go into um, maybe some songs or something, some philosophy, and some comedy too. Uh, so I'll start now, all right. Uh, I don't have a name for it yet, but the, the magical moose antlet maestro was so nice and cheerful to everyone he met along the sing-song road of life that the whole town where he lived and prospered got together and buying two ballyhoo unicycles and a blueberry-scented kite gave him last of all as a swank in certain preparation for his long journey west of the raspberry wingsters recently made nest, a shoebox stripping with yuletide Christmas tree bulbs. So, and so we all, I have to scroll, and so we all can very easily see how kindness and a helping hand rings bells of joy through the green god-netted land. Yes, all you've heard about the present situation was, and still is true, he was off and on his way to rendezvous with the magical green-haired giant of Moose Loose from the very same backyard barn where in portly old Geronoa always had, always was the first to say, glad to know you, wearing a pair of trousers that were at least 12 feet wide and a hat made out of butternut winged sea turtles. All named Sally, and the horse and mule and hula hooped rabbit barn, where within good old portly Geronoa read each morning to the wheel building hands of time stilling day, should be Thanksgiving Rudolph rays from up the tinsel covered streets. Oh, you don't you say? I say, you do say? You don't say? Always, big bally who you, who ya, uh, knew him from the good old days, when they used to tell bedtime stories to the fish in the living room tank. One was Herbertine, another was Clementine, and then there was big Papa Hank, who was married in the fish world, that is, to Beatrice, the only fish anyone's ever heard of, who, at one time, a seamstress, was a seamstress who drank each morning with her veggies and, f and fruits, a thimbleful of lemon and lime, and used to juggle bowling pins. Scrolling. Used to juggle bowling pins to entertain the seals by the merry, merry shore of whipped cream and hot fudge bay. What, what, who say that their tails crossed clapping uh, their flippers as good as old soul Clementine swam this way and that, juggling her bowling pins in the very same bayside water where rawhide co cowboy shipping clerks made certain their sons and daughters never crossed the Canadian border without tickets to the horse races. Tickets to the horse races? And big bass, big boss man, a uh, box of boomerang bottles of moon loom tang, who had no taste for as never do the sons and daughters of at least two-thirds, or maybe as well, or perhaps even more, of all the rawhide cowboy and cowgirl shipping clerks who worked a banker's week of wheat, weedy-fueled hours. 
measured by every second, by every single hour's four quarters. Every single hour's four quarters. Only Mud Pie Clive and not many others knew that in some places where canary, canary keeping, uh, checkered floor sweeping suggested once to King Tut's great great grandsons and even grandeur of kindness great great granddaughters that every third hour was happily, happily, happily so divided into five quarters, equipped with 12.5 minutes. He and all his cranberry-shaped family of dictionary memorizing thereof every three-syllable words they then, unf they then folded into paper airplanes, giving them as they would, metaphorically speaking, a renegade kitchen sink that wouldn't and just as well couldn't curtail its bread snailed, its braille snailed, leaky faucet. Until one day he lost the very shirt off his rack, getting it back a day or three forthwith from Rodeo Sam, a cruel fool of a man who had heard that the Japanians, the Japanians obviously were not all Japanese, nor what they see the world to be, should be, should but for the plays, while, please, while off to church, Henrietta sneezed and sneezed and sneezed. She knew deep down in her gentlest of hearts that her much-loved mother and son never could out outrun the whistle-walking, um, snapping turtle. Who was either calling into revival the mat matriarchally mother and violin raking woman um, of two ordained with a six foot physically transparency Irish twin Thomas Town brothers, the youngest of whom would some fateful days, some fateful day, years, perhaps even so much as decades later, advise the man from uncle to, to tread lightly around as well as the grazing cattle indigenous to ways of Hopper Freight right out of Seattle. Hopper Freight right out of Seattle. Is it? Is it anymore? Okay, so that's part one of my new book, and I think I'll call it, see if get the, up the first sentence. I'm going to call it, and uh, it's a ch more of a children's book than the other one, a variation, the same type of comedy generally. And I'll call it this series the Magical Moose Antlered Maestro. And you, you kids know what a maestro is, right? You go you, you know, at, the, at the top of the um, August. Or, uh, uh, so I, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a great day. And I hope you got your shots and you stay healthy and everything. And I hope that they are going to let me do that, that this, um, um, Presentation today. I got a lot of things I want to, I want to um, do to say. I don't want to get. I would don't advise this for you. I didn't get a week of sleep last night. I was so excited about doing this. I don't even feel tired. So God bless all of you and take care. And um, I keep on writing more of this story every day. It's coming to be very easy. So God bless you all. I'll see you soon. Or you'll be reading my books soon, hopefully.